All right, welcome back, ladies and gentle jammers, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry, the spacefaring Chupacabra, and we're back for some more of that delicious planetary survival sim, Astroneer. And actually, let me see if I can get this to lag less by, like, dumping down my uh, draw distance. Since I'm underground, I don't think it's going to matter that much. And, uh, yeah, we're playing more Astroneer today. We're trying to answer the question of how deep does this puppy dog go? Uh, so far, I am not sure how deep it goes, but I farmed up more compound, so we're gonna see if we can't find out. So I'm gonna just slowly start building a ramp, and we're gonna go as deep as this game will allow us to go, and then see, like, at what point does this puppy dog break? Because I'm feeling like it might be pretty deep. Because, like, I think this is one big solid planet toyed, and, like, that's probably why this game can be a bit of a laggy pile of, uh, of burning circuits. Because it's like, it's not like it's laggy as in, like, it's just badly made, it's just that it's not optimized well yet, and this thing is a pretty intensive, uh, experience here. And I guess it's nighttime on the surface, so we're losing power. Uh, can we find any free power floating around on the ground? To continue digging? Not really. Once you get this deep, that's about all that's gonna happen, is you just get deeper without your fancy toys. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. I guess I should have brought some spare power with me, not considering that my timing might just be a little bit janky and I might not be able to continuously dig. Well, no matter. We've already started. We might as well just keep this uh, party going. Let's just keep on a digging. We'll eventually find the source of all things within this game. It it started trying to feed me energy, but for some reason it didn't keep going. Oh, there it is. I guess it was just starting to become daylight out there. So now that it's day up top, we can pretty much just dig with wanton abandon. Trying, of course, to not dig a pit that we can't get out of. Now, this is actually not too bad. Like, controlling terrain inside of Astroneer can be a little bit of a challenge a lot of the time, but beyond that, like, this game handles pretty darn well. And it's only an alpha, so I'm guessing this is only gonna get better. And we are not finding diddly squatting shit down here, like, at all. I'm guessing at some point the gravity's gonna shift on us and we're gonna get, like, thrown into, like, a vortex of murder. So let's have a see. Wow, this thing, this motherfucker goes deep, doesn't it? Holy shit. Whoops, I... I can get back up that, that's not a problem. So what's at the core of this thing? Is there anything at the core of this thing, or does this just go on forever now? Like, eventually we're gonna come out the other side of the planet, aren't we? We've gotta, right? Come out the other side of the planet? Yeah, that's like the only thing that's left. We're just... We are just digging and digging and digging and digging. Yeah, that is... We are... Whoops, that is not where I want to put you. I want to put you back in my bag. Okay. That's right, keep feeding me power. I want to keep going for ever. Holy shit. This thing just keeps going. Uh... 
All right, well, we're just gonna roll. We're just riding this train until we get to the other side now. That's really the only way that this is gonna end. Okay. I, I is there a bedrock in this game? Like, no, this it can't be. Like, this is just. I guess this is just terrain all the way till you get to the other side. I'm gonna guess there's probably nothing actually in the core of this planet. Cause I've been going for a while, and I haven't found nothing. Then again, it's also, it's not technically a planet, is it? It's uh... Boy, look at how deep that hole is now, holy crap! But yeah, like, there might not be anything here. This is a moon, it's not actually a planet planet. So there might not actually be anything down here. Like, I don't know that if you dug all the way to the core of our moon, just chilling out one afternoon, I don't know that you'd actually find anything. And if there is actually intent to put shit deep under here, like mole people, it'll, we probably just won't see it for a little while, because they're slowly adding stuff to this game. And I should probably take a look at what their development diary is like to see what their next goal is for stuff to add to this puppy dog. Yeah, we're just gonna go directly through the core of this planet, aren't we? That's gonna be fucking great. Alright, that's fine. I can certainly play that game. I mean, I am playing the game, it's just... This is going a little further than I ever intended. Holy shit. Alright, fuck it. We're just gonna keep going and going and going like the fat lazy energizer bunny. Yep, there is just nothing down here. It's like going back up into the Hollywood Hills, there's just dirt, sticks, and shitty hills. Pretty much any hills, like, Colorado's full of shit like that, too. Or, like, if I went out into the prairie around here, there's really nothing in the prairie. Except the occasional little washout full of garbage water, and the occasional jackrabbit. And I've actually run into jackrabbits before, while they were fucking. So that was an interesting experience. And the thing is, with jackrabbits, like, when they're fucking, they just kind of get tired, they just kind of bounce away really slowly. Which is funny. Like, it's just funny to interrupt animals when they're doing the horizontal mambo. Because then they're just like, look, man, alright, can we just finish this? Are you a predator? Can we just not? Sir? Yep, this place just keeps going, and going, and going. Oh, someone's using text-to-speech on Discord. Hang on, I need to mute that. Okay, let's just keep digging. Whoops, I didn't want to put that down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't even know what fucking direction I'm still going. Am I going perpendicular through the planet now, or am I still going down? Did we accidentally curve this thing? Because I felt like I was going pretty straight. But, you know, that also implies that the gravity in this game isn't really janky and stupid. And I'm also not sure how much longer I'm gonna keep putting up doing this, because this could go on for quite some time. Or we just make, like, a rape cave in the middle of this planet. Where the only thing that happens is a bunch of aliens come with tentacle fondle and try to do stuff to my bottom. And I think we might have reached the other side, because the terrain just changed color. And... I'm gonna make yet more tethers, because I had a spare thing of compound in my inventory. And let's just keep digging! We need to go deeper, as deep as we can, basically. 
Because we kind of, we sort of went from falling down a hole to just gently walking down a tunnel. So I think either the gravity shifted or this game doesn't know how to treat what I'm doing and is getting confused. Okay, we've now reached new stuff. So that we now have officially reached materials, like resins. So we might be reaching the other side of the planet, and the game might start reinsta- yep. Start reinstating, uh, some gravity laws here. So I guess we'll see where we come out. We might be- we're probably getting pretty close to the surface, actually. Like, we- we got resin now, and now we've got compound. I, we might have curved around back to the surface, like, naturally. I'm not certain. We haven't found another cave system. So that's not what we're, what we're in right now. We're just kind of ending up in a giant, janky mess. All right. Well, eventually we're bound to find something. Cause we found we found compound. Like we did find that. Oh, how deep can you go? Where we stop? I frankly don't know. Okay, we're walking up again. Like, gravity has kind of switched around on us. We are walking kind of up. Alright, well, there's no core to this fucking planet. I can tell you that right now. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna call her quits with this. The tunnel to hell didn't go to hell. It went to, like, New Jersey, which might be part of hell. And then it, like, swung back through Philly. And there are some really gross people that live in Philly that think Cheese Whiz belongs on a fucking sandwich. As much as I like Cheese Whiz on crackers when I'm feeling white trash, Cheese Whiz does not belong on a Philly cheese sandwich. And people in that area of Philly, I think, is that South Philly or North Philly? My brother-in-law was telling me about this the other day when he went for a visit. But those people are savages and should not be trusted with food. Yeah, so like, instead of falling down, the gravity kind of switched on us to, um, to just being flat up against the wall. Alright, well, that was, that was a cultural experience or something. So let's just, uh, suck up some more materials down here and let's call her quits, because that, kind of a giant waste of time, but it was fun to try, wasn't it? See what all they've got in this game? You never know. Like, there's always the small possibility that they hid like a thing down underground. I don't really think there was right now, because it's still way too early to do that kind of crap. Especially with no guarantee that anyone's that interested in going and finding stuff deep underground. But, you know, it, it was something. That's what I'll call that, something. And come here, Mr. Cole, and with this, we'll go back to the surface. Yeah, that was... that was an experience. You gotta try stupid shit at least once in a game, right? Where you just keep going and going and going, like those sadistic fucks that put Cheese Whiz on Philly cheese sandwiches. Although what I did find out that is great from Philly, great invention by Chinese restaurants in Philly, was that, uh... Once you get there, or at least an option in a lot of Chinese restaurants there, is instead of just getting a regular egg roll, it's possible to buy a Philly cheesesteak egg roll rather than the regular. And that actually got me to doing some research to find out how one, like... I've never fried stuff in my life. Like, my family, we have stuff to fry stuff, like if I wanted to borrow it from my parents or my sister. But growing up, like, we never really fried a lot of stuff. If we bought- if we had fried foods, it was like at a restaurant somewhere. Which, I mean, it's not super health nut-y, but it just kind of meant that we just didn't do frying stuff. So I never ex 
experienced any of that mess. But I always kind of wanted to try it, and it looks like making egg rolls at your house isn't that hard. It's just, depending on what you want to put in it, you want to kind of cook that up ahead of time, put it in the egg roll, fry that puppy up, and you're good to go. So in the case of Philly cheesesteak egg rolls, you just got to make the Philly cheesesteak insides first, and then from there you can do whatever the floop you want. So we've got more malachite. And we could go get some more laterite, but I don't really like driving this thing all that much. So let's just put this coal on it, and we'll just reattach this to the truck and call it good. Because we have been foraging forever. So back we go, back to base with our giant haul. And our complete lack of gravity, because it's on the goddamn moon. Okay, got it. Okay, car. Car, car, settle down, please. Mr. Car, Mr. Truck, please settle down. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just, it's really awkward to drive this thing, and it kind of just drunkenly goes wherever. Okay, 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 okay. Settle down, please. The frickin' wind plays silly buggers on this shit, too, all the time. So, okay, so we got a bunch of stuff. Let's start with the malachite. And we'll use that stuff to make some copper. What did we need to build stuff onto our thing? I think we needed to build... Or, do we need compound to build stuff? I think we might have. But I'm not... Okay, that was annoying. Put this... Apparently we won't put that there. Okay, that's weird. Well, we'll just fill this up. And then... I guess we'll put this storage thing off to the side and put this one here. Actually, you know what? We could just grab this whole thing and put that into the machine. And then that will automatically convert all of this into goodies. Yeah, that'll work out. That'll work out just fine. There we go. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted it to do. Automatically start converting stuff. Then it's got to refill. And then it can go again. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I really wish there was some way to get rid of that partial piece of aluminum, though. Because that's just kind of taking up space, and I'm not sure why. Not sure why at all. But no matter. So let's see, that needed what? Compound? Yeah, it needed compound. So let's take this over there. And we will use all of this compound to start our new machine. So that'll be the chair for our, um, our vessel. And I guess that's all that this thing can fit on it until it's full. So, uh... Oh no, it just needed power. So it can put up a seat? Or nothing, basically. Um, okay, that's fine. It doesn't really need to do anything crazy sophisticated. What I do need to do is I'm gonna take... A, I'm gonna take this piece of shit coal off. I'm gonna take this over here, and we need to start filling this up with fuel. So that we can power our vessel. And I will probably suck up a bunch of this next round, and I'll take a break before we go to a new planet, and I'll decide what sorts of crazy shit that we probably want to bring with us when we go about doing that. So, I'm gonna declare that it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Thanks for joining me. We have been exploring every last flippin' part of the moon. Uh, literally every last part. Like, we even went to places where I don't even think the moon talks to about with its parents. And I'll catch you next time. Don't be afraid to, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it if you really watched a lot of this to hit that like button, because it helps me as a YouTuber out a lot just for my channel to become more visible. And I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.